Hi, I'm Marius from MWS Photography, and over the next couple of videos, we are going to look at a post-processing workflow for Photomate. Now, I'll be using the Nexus 7 running Android 4.2. Now, the first thing we need to do is to get our images from the camera onto the tablet. And for that, you're going to need an OTG, an on-the-go cable, which looks like this. Now, you can buy these cables on the internet, uh, eBay, for like a dollar or two. They're really very cheap. Just make sure you buy the correct one. Now, you just plug this into the, um, the tablet right there at the bottom or wherever your fitting is on your, on your um, device. And then you need a cable to connect to your camera. So this I now just plug in here, like this. And this end goes into my camera. So let's look at it closely, how we get the images off the camera. Now, when I have the camera attached, I just turn the power on on the camera and the tab tablet will immediately pick up the device and it will go to Photomate. Now, as you can see at the top, I've got here choose directory. This will allow me to create a directory where I can store all my images. And then you'll see a copy from camera and move from camera. I'm going to leave it on copy from camera and I'm going to say start import. And it's showing me there's external media, 12 files. I'm going to select that. And I can see all the images which is on this card or on the camera at the moment. And I'm just going to import all of them. So I'm just going to say start import. You can if you want to clear the selection and then only choose specific ones. But I'm going to say select all and then start import. And then a few seconds later, you'll have all your pics ready to start processing. Now, when it has completed, as you can see, all the images are on the device. I can just turn the camera off and then my images are ready to be processed. Now, that's that for this video. And in the next one, we are going to look at rating and comparing and sorting these images so that we can make our final selection for the images that we want to edit. So that's that for this video and I'll see you in the next one.